后来有往马尼村的地方，没想到村东有个尸体太晚。他回来都可以生好我，被他群人 relational temporal attentive perennial or holistic sequential recommendation. This is joint work with my student Chen Shi. The task of sequential recommendation is that even historical user-item interactions organize a, a sequence of items for each user. The goal is to predict the successive item that a user is likely to interact with in the future. For example, given four items organized a historical sequence of user, we will have to predict the next two items, next two movies that the user would like to see in the future. Application of sequential recommendation include predict the next click advertisement or we'll try to recommend the next check-in point of interest for users. We would like to extend the conventional sequential recommendations uh, to inductive and uh, transferable settings to have the holistic sequential recommendation. For the inductive settings, we have new user at the testing stage. The user is never appear at the training stage. We would like to predict her corresponding next items. For the transferable settings, we have data from uh, two domain, source and target. We have the source domain item sequence for training, and we have to predict uh, the target domain's user's next item at the testing stage. Compared to the relevant study, uh, the proposed uh, holistic recommendation is quite different from existing studies, especially uh, we are in the first uh, work to simultaneously consider the conventional, inductive, and uh, transferable setting of sequential recommendation. In addition, in our framework, we try to further model the long-term and short-term information in sequential settings and further uh, try to capture the temporal dynamics of user preference uh, in the given item sequence. This is all of the difference uh, compared to the existing study. Uh, this slide presents the model architecture of the proposed Rita Genome Framework. The Rita Genome Framework uh, consists of uh, five uh, modules. The first module is using the fifth world network to obtain the ability for every user item and item attributes. Then we I have the next component is the encoding subgraph. We construct a prototype graph to depict the relationship among user items and attributes. Then given a certain pair of user and item, we can extract the corresponding encoding subgraph from the tripartite graph. It is, it is the local neighborhood of the target pair of user and item. By doing so, we can uh, depicts the high order uh, correlate, correlative relationship between user and item. Then our goal is try to learn the mapping function. They can project a, a target pair subgraph to a score of inter user item interactions. With the uh, extract and closing subgraph, it can be found in this slide. We divide the following module into two parts. The first part is long-term information, the second part is the short-term information. Suppose we have totally uh, uh, nine uh, weeks uh, item sequence. We divide in the, the sequence into three uh, subsequences. Then every uh, subsequence and subsequence will be used to extract the corresponding and corresponding subgraph and uh, learn the corresponding user and item sequence based on the third module RA genome layer. The goal of the RA genome layer, IG layer is to learn the ability for each user and item based on the extract and crossing subgraph. The layer consists of uh, two steps. The first step is relational attention it is to jointly model user preference and item correlation. And we would like to make uh, different relations in the correlation subgraph have different contributes to the eastern nodes. The second step is message passing. We can step, stack multiple IAG layers to capture the high order interactions between user item and uh, attribute. 
For example, if we like to have the update no embeddings, we consider the previous layer embedding as well as the uh, embedding aggregate from the tucking nodes neighborhood. And the aggregation is weighted by a relational, uh, relation aware attention weights, alpha. The relation uh, attention allows us to have the uh, inducted capability for retouch in the framework. The attention weight alpha is data dependent. It allows us to learn different contribution for nodes at different hub from the target pair of user and item. In addition, it can be find the uh, relational attention is generated from the relational weights uh, WR. The, the R means that re the relation. In other words, the relation uh, attention weights is independent from specific nodes and item. Such property allows us to have the random initialization of user and item embeddings and uh, uh, by transform the input in render initialized embedding based, based on the uh, input weights and the relational attention weighting metrics, we can let the rate genome framework to capable of uh, inductive and uh, transferable uh, learning, learning uh, property. After the IAG layer, we can obtain the embedding of user item and item attributes. Uh, then uh, all of the long short term user and item embedding will fit uh, into the sequential step attention layer. The sequential step attention layer is trying to learn the sequential correlation between items within the given item sequence. It can be done uh, by then uh, attention weight uh, beta. The beta is to models how items at different past time step sequentially influence item in the uh, future time step. In other words, future uh, items are not allowed to influence past items uh, in our learn beta attention weight. After the first uh, four modules, uh, we are enter into the final prediction layer. The final prediction layer consists of two parts. The first part is Using the uh, combination of long short term uh, user embedding and item embeddings uh, to perform an uh, inner product to generate the score, uh, uh, the, the major uh, the degree of the user will interact with a certain item. In addition, we further model the item item correlation by compute the inner product between the target items and all each of the historical items and sum the score together uh, with the uh, user item in the product to be the final score. As for the model chaining, we have the loss function consist of two parts. The first part is the BPI loss. Uh, the second part is the proposed relation aware representation. It is designed to encourage embedding of user item and attributes connect by the same relation in the nearby region they are to be stimulated with each other. It can help preserve the relation knowledge uh, in our uh, framework. Uh, in the experiments, we consider three data sets, including Instagram, movie dance, and group crossing. After some data preprocessing, uh, the statistics that can be presented in this table. We divide the data into training, validation, and test into six, two, and two. We compare the proposed rate engineer with three categories of competing methods, including conventional sequential recommendation, GN-based no embedding method, and the GN-based sequential recommendation method. Some of them are state of the art uh, for sequential recommendation. The result on conventional sequential recommendation is presented in this slide. We can find that rate engineer can consistently outperform the competing method. The results sh uh, show the usefulness of modeling uh, sequential high order interactions between user and item and uh, uh, further verify that the rate gen can capture the sequential pattern of user preference. As for the inductive settings, we divide the data into two disjoint subsets for training and inductive uh, uh, testing. 
we change a uh, different ratio of training and the interactive testings and uh, present the result in the following table. It can be found that the data GN can consistently outperform the set of the inductive learning method uh, uh, IGMC. Uh, in all of the three data sets and under three evaluation metrics of precision recall and the NDCG. In addition, uh, for the result on transferable sequential recommendations, uh, we consider each data set as the source of main data for training and treat the other uh, data set as the target command for testing. Uh, Finally, we have six set of results, and the result again uh, present the data GN is the best. And this result delivers the usefulness of transfer in the relational attentive ways across domain based on the proposed data GN framework. We also conduct the ablation study to find the usefulness of each component. Uh, it, you can be find that uh, the four data GNs performance is at the patterns. Uh, the most important component is the IGN layer. It is because after remove the IGN layer, the problems lead to the most the most significant problems drop. The other uh, important component, including the relation aware regulation and the relational attention, by we remove each of them, the problems have some degree of uh, drop. Uh, here we briefly summarize this work. In this work, we present holistic sequential recommendation. We extend the conventional settings to inductive and transferable settings for sequential recommendation. A novel GN based sequential recommendation model, Rita GN, is proposed. The key is to learn the uh, relational attentive weights uh, on different kinds of relations in the approaching program, uh, rather than the uh, weight on specific user and item. Uh, make the model to be capable of inductive and uh, transfer learning. Uh, the result supports uh, our uh, proposed method with promising result compared to the state of the art of, uh, uh, sequential recommendation model. In the future, we would like to extend the rate gene to incorporate another graph uh, for items. In addition, we, we would like to implement the rate gene on conversational uh, recommendation, recommendation system because we can consider the user feedback as a, as a kind of inductive information uh, to interactively up, update our uh, models to generate the uh, new item recommendation result. Uh, thanks for your listening. Uh, please uh, email me if you have any questions. And you can also find our call and implementation in the GitHub slide. Thank you.